let's dive into some of the questions then, uh, because for a lot of people uh, in Sweden, they will know who you are. Uh, but for a lot of people outside of Sweden, across Europe and elsewhere, they won't know you so much. So give us an idea of what you were doing in your career uh, before Melody Festival and what, what, have, what have you been doing musically before then? Yeah, well, basically, I'm, I'm very like independent a very like small independent artist um, so I just started to release uh, music about like two years ago uh, my first single like two years ago uh, I think or was it last summer <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> so I released I've been I've, I've always like uh, loved writing songs uh, since I was uh, younger um, since I was 12 or something but but um, but uh, recently, like the last like five years, I've really been like uh, investing my my uh, a lot of my time, my my whole like passion and heart into into music, and uh, so basically, I've been uh, I I I released a song last summer uh, uh, that uh, got a little attention um, through like uh, media and and actually television uh, national television in sweden uh, so i and i ha and i had the opportunity to uh, play uh, play live for the first time at the stockholm and copenhagen pride etc so so it really like i i also i'm not used standing on stage like big stages i'm just like uh, i'm in the very beginning of my a career so to speak and for you then growing up because melody festival is massive not just in sweden but across europe as well so were mm -hmm. you always a fan of the competition when you were growing up watching it on tv yeah it's like uh, it's like a uh, hot almost like um what you, big holiday in sweden for for some of us uh, it's a it's a tradition uh, we have like christmas we have a midsummer and we have Melody Festival, basically. So yeah, I've been I've been growing up sitting in my uh, sofa watching it uh, on uh, the telly with my uh, family and friends. Uh, and now so. you've got a place in the 2021 edition. But for you, it was a little bit different, wasn't it? Because for most artists, they either ask to take part or the broadcaster will ask them to take part. But for you you mm. were chosen a little bit differently weren't you so give us an idea for those of us who don't know how you were chosen to take part yeah it's quite a uh, complicated no but it's it's a bit uh, tricky to to explain but okay i will try my best it's um so i applied for a radio contest uh it's like swedish national radio uh p4 it's called uh I applied for a competition uh, and the, the the prize, the first, like, the winner of this whole competition gets uh, gets to be be, be played, uh, like, um, in radio for one year, like, uh, ahead of time. And there's also, like, an extra prize in, in this uh, radio contest, which is the, the spot uh, or the ticket to Maldives Valen. Uh, and the uh, what do you call it? the jury decides uh, which one uh, of the ten final um, yeah uh, competitors. Oh no, uh, yeah, artists. Uh, yeah. They, 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 so they literally picked me out from from uh, from many like people. So it's uh, it's it's huge. It's um, it's it's been a, it's been a ride. So, so what was it like? Out. What was it like then when the the announced it was you? When you found out it was you who's going to take part in this massive competition that you said is such a big part of you know Swedish culture and your childhood? What was it like when they said it's you? Yeah, I'm I'm like good at keeping it quite cool on the outside, I think. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I think uh, within I was uh, I was very very like. Uh, relieved because i wanted it so much i was like I, I i really i'm i'm ready i think this is the right time for me in my career i think i i can offer something to the competition which is unique and uh, 
Uh, yeah, and I, I, of course, I, I, I called my mom like uh, afterwards and, and was like euphoric. So, yeah. And you mentioned the word unique there, and I think that's a you know a fair assessment because your style is very different to a lot of stuff we always hear. I'd say your style is quite dark, isn't it? You know, the, your songs like Dark Doom and, and Pretty Dreams are very, they are yeah. unique, aren't they? So what are we going to expect from Rich, from your song that you're going to take part with in Melody Festival? Yeah, well, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be um, me in the, in the sense that it's going to be like quite, uh, what is it called? film like uh, cinematic yeah and, and yeah and um, some mysterious vibe and darkness in there but also like uh, uh, I think a growth in my um, mus musicality uh, like uh, so to speak um, I think I've um, stepped out of my comfort zone to uh, be able to because uh, that's what, well, I don't, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. I've like written all these dark uh, type of pop songs because I've felt, I've, I've been feeling, I've had like all these type types of uh, mental health issues, but now I'm very happy and the song is like, it's more enthousi enthusiastic and optimistic than I think most people are prepared for, uh, honestly. But, uh, they can, they can, everybody can um, expect something uh, artsy still, and still me, like, and my integrity and the whole package. Very exciting, very exciting. Yeah. And you've written this song as well with a couple of big songwriters as well, haven't you? Yeah, they're, they're like the, the stars of uh, Mello di Festival and the writing uh, type of people. Uh, they're very, 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 very talented. And I'm so lucky and uh, I'm so glad that we had like um, so so much fun while writing it. Uh, I think that that creates uh, uh, like the magic as well. Um, and I think that um, the, the result is is uh, I'm so I'm so very happy and I can't wait for everyone to hear. So when did you write this song then? Did you write this song once you knew you were going to go to Melody Festival or did you already have this song ready and waiting for something? Yeah, so no, I wrote it uh, after I, I, I got the, uh, the announcement. So, yeah. And I've been doing, yeah. Nah, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, what are your hopes then for, for Melody Festival? Because the record for participants who have been chosen through uh, P. Fia Nasta is, isn't very good, is it? Because I think all of them haven't made it out of the semi-finals. So do you mm. think you're going to be able to get out of the semi-finals? Do you think you're going to be able to change that record? I am... Um, I want to so bad, so bad. Um, and yeah, I think I have a good chance of doing so as well. Um, because I think, yeah, I believe in myself, and I think I have like the quality in the song is the song is very good, and to just to get the, it's all about also like 50 50, 50 percent the song and fifty percent like the, the performance, and we're still creating the performance. It's not just it's not finished yet, so it, it has to be like the whole package like um, perfect. And then I think I have, I think I. I yeah, it's a very hard competition this year, but uh, I believe in myself and I am ready to go all in. You mentioned it's a very difficult competition this year. It is, isn't it? Because there's some massive names taking part this year. Yeah. Does that worry you, the amount of big artists that are also taking part? Or are you just going to take it in your stride and take it one step at a time and it's just going to be all about you? Um, it's going to be all about me. I'm... I'm, I'm um... I'm already like starting to narrowing uh, my focus into like I try to I'm gonna start trying to meditate and not now before the my uh, the competition and and everything but I've been quite like uh, so uh, it's it's a uh, it's so strong competition that I I've been like doubting a bit uh, of course since I think 
there's so many stars that could fill the, the final uh, the final round uh, already. But at the same time, um, I have nothing to lose. Like I can I can just like be the underdog, make a like strong impression, and uh, I hope it will reach people uh, through the like television and. Ah, yeah, we will see. But I, I have, I'm very self confident in the, in my artistic uh, exp- expression for this. Yeah. Now we've got quite a lot of listeners in Sweden, and a lot of them will hopefully, for yourself, be voting for you and your song. So have you got a message for the people across Sweden who will hopefully be picking up their phones and voting for you in Melody Festivalen? Yeah, well, all I can say is uh, that I love them. I, I know so many of my friends will, will uh, vote uh, until their like the the bill will uh, hit the hit the ceiling. So, so to everyone who who will vote for me, I uh, and who support me already and have been supporting me since uh, since day one, uh, I I love you and uh, thank you. Keep doing that. Let's go. Let's do this together. 